President William Ruto was inaugurated in office on 13 September 2022 on an agenda of bottom-up economic transformation. He embarked on critical institution of the presidency of the ninth side. In December 2018, the OACPS has recorded... the OACPS has recorded key milestones, notably the adoption of the revised Georgetown Agreement. This, trans this transformed us into a fully-fledged international organization with the aspiration to be an advocate for global solidarity and a staunch supporter of multilateralism. This is further reiterated by implementation of the Nairobi Guvia Pamoja Declaration. Further, the first extraordinary intersessional summit of the OACPS heads of state and government sought to identify opportunities for global solidarity and action. This was in the wake of the socio-economic devastation of the COVID-19 pandemic. Kenya has also remained in the forefront of active, high-level engagement with the European Union to strengthen our partnership. Excellencies, as the presidency of the summit, Kenya pledged to ensure that the vision and goals of OACPS are at the very center of the international engagements and that we become a beacon of multilateralism. This pledge was backed by endorsement of the revised Georgetown Agreement and the Nairobi Guvu Yapamoja Declaration and provided the much needed impetus for the renewal of the organization. Kenya has lived to this expectation. Aside, we are still faced with many challenges amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, peace and security, and the threat of climate change. Our organization is also facing winning faith in the meeting the national interests and aspirations of member states. This, coupled with the current fiscal crisis in the organization, is challenging for the Secretary General to implement the decisions of the member states. Most member states are facing economic downtime, but we must move on. I encourage all of us to strive and meet our financial obligations to enable the Secretariat function effectively. Owing to recent developments, we have had to rethink the political value of our partnership with the European Union. Chief among these are regulations that harm our collective interest unilateral sanctions and the delayed signing of the post Cotonou partnership agreement. We are also witnessing a new cycle of geopolitical realities. It is time to advocate for the enhanced multilateralism, South-South solidarity and remain reliable and respected at the global stage. Excellencies, as the 27 EU member states and the 79 OACPS countries we are a formidable coalition that should engage fully. As member states, we have a duty to demonstrate the strength and value of the OACPS beyond Brussels. We call for quicker conclusion of the post cotonou partnership agreement between OACPS and the EU. 
Nevertheless, we continue to strongly enhance economic diversification and integration of the OACPS member states into the global value chains for our prosperity. Kenya remains positive to the contribution of the diaspora in the development of our countries. We welcome the creation of the OACPS trade platform for engagement with global diaspora initiatives as well as the nation state level. Thank you, Secretary General, for taking the necessary steps to establish OACPS Global Diaspora Engagement Mechanism as a strategy which will be key beyond the current challenges. Excellencies, the theme of the 10th Summit, three continents, three oceans, one common destiny, building a resilient and sustainable OACPS is a great breather by member states towards resilience and economic diversification to attain economic independence. We, refer, we reaffirm our continued commitment to leveraging emerging technologies as a critical tool in the fourth industrial revolution towards a knowledge-based economy. Excellencies, Kenya affirms a sustainable blue economy to member states and its delivery, especially of the sustainable development goal number 14. In this regard, Kenya and Portugal co-hosted the 2022 UN Ocean Conference in Lisbon in July 2022, where we were honored to showcase our leadership role in the ocean agenda. Excellencies, our economies are prone to global risks. The COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine have amplified poverty level, inequality gaps, and debt burden, particularly among the lower middle income countries, which require adequate physical space. We need a mutually agreed upon criteria for categorizing middle income countries, noting that majority of these countries discussions. So to start off, the officials that we are here, and I just request you stand. Uh, those are the home-based staff that we have. We only five home-based staff. 